This is Hadi Disha, interventional cardiovascular specialist, outlining the importance of a distal superficial femoral artery stick in patients who are end stage CLI patients without tibial access points and non surgical patients. Uh, this patient had already received iliac revascularization two weeks prior, and we were hoping that symptoms would resolve. However, rest pain persisted. You can see here up and over techniques. Very important to watch the sheath coming down uh, with the sheath bright tip being outlined and not getting stuck in the stent strut. Here, despite the C-top class two classification, uh, the presence of a collateral and the extensive occlusion uh, did not allow us to uh, cross in a sub fashion back into the true lumen or in a true luminal fashion. There was no distal target by ultrasound, tibial target or pedal target. And this was a non-surgical patient, so we had to proceed with a last resort, a superficial femoral artery stick with a NITVIEW wire. NITVIEW wire was chosen here because of the lack of polymer jacket uh, and the lack of wire sethering through the needle if rewiring attempts are taken. It's important to know the anatomy here. Very important to see the saphenous nerve by ultrasound and avoid it, as well as the femoral vein, which is often below the artery to avoid AV fistula. You can see here a 018 glide wire advantage wire being passed very easily through the soft distal cap. And a microcaster was advanced without a sheath. Uh, it was an 018 CXI microcaster, uh, which helps in the, uh, in the retrograde fashion since it is braided. Uh, at this point, uh, we wanted to meet the anti-grade with the retrograde uh, lumens and this wire crossed into the true lumen uh, we attempted uh, snaring it into the sheath, and one of the methods that worked here is the wire uh, got into the space between the catheter and the sheath and was able to be pulled back with the caster pole for the safari technique to be performed. You can see here that a, a transient five-minute occlusion and reversing of the wire uh, would be sufficient in most times for hemostasis, and you can see the result of the angiogram right after angioplasty, which reveals adequate flow. Um, we used mostly DCBs in this case and the proximal stent.